Hey G Squad, welcome back to some sort of is it worth it? So today's episode we got this cool Abismar here and basically what this is is the Ottoman Sofa. You can see the one that we got right here from this brand. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So pretty much inside when you guys first get it, the product is all well protected. There's like a covering over it, but let's take it out. All right, so here is basically what the product looks like when you guys first get in. If you see how they do have the protection on here, but let's take off the wrapper to show you guys what the product looks like first. All right, so once you guys take it out, let's flip it over to the other side. All right, so once you guys flip it to the other side, here is basically what the product looks like. So this is the first way you guys can use the product, which is pretty cool. There's many other ways for you to use it as well, and I will show you guys in a second. And we see on this side right here, they do have instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. So let's take that out first. So here is the front. And here is the other side. And when you guys do try out right here, it actually feels really comfortable. It definitely has a very nice fabric on here to give you guys that all day comfort and support. And I love how the product is so compact and portable. So that way, if you guys want to bring it along to a different room or somewhere else, you definitely do have the option available. But now let me show you guys how to set it up in different positions or different options. So they do mention for the product, it give you guys the ottoman itself and to give you guys the pillow inside. But let's convert it into a chair to show you guys how to do it first. So the first thing I just want to do is raise this part up. And then once you guys do that, if you see right here, we do have the pillow. So let's take it out. And right next to the pillow, they do give you guys some extra paddings and extra non slip material in the bottom. So that way you can set it up in the bottom if you guys ever need to. But first thing, let's open up the pillow first. All right, so once you guys open the pillow, here is basically what it looks like. They do have a zipper option for you guys to open up if you guys do want to wash your pillow, which is pretty cool. But let's set up the chair option first. So once you guys open this part, you guys want to raise this part up. Once you guys do that, you guys want to bring this back down. And then fix the side. For the cover right here, it is magnetic, so it will stick on. So once you guys do that, you guys want to raise the back part up. But before you guys do that, you guys need to raise the leg on the bottom. So I'm actually turn around to show you guys what I mean. So you guys raise it up. The bottom part has a leg that's gonna open up. And you basically wanna pull the bar down. So that way it has the support. And now what you guys wanna do is raise it up. And now it becomes like a chair option. So if I try to sit on here, let me show you guys what it actually looks like. So if you guys wanna lay down like this, or if you wanna sit here on the side, you do have the option to use it how you guys want to. And basically the way how you use it right here is by pulling it up and that is how you guys adjust it. So just like this. So that is the highest. If you guys pull again, that will allow you guys to bring it back down. And that way you guys can use like a bed option if you guys do want to. But the cool thing about this product is the fact that it does give you guys the option to open up this part, this part, and one more as well. If you guys don't want to open the bottom part, the bed option, you can definitely sleep like this as well. Especially if you guys don't mind like, your leg hanging out. So just like this. You guys can do that as well. So now let me actually open the bottom part and show you guys what the bed option looks like and how to actually put it out. So the way how you guys set the bed option is pretty easy. You guys want to lift this part up. And you guys want to bring this out. But before you guys do that, you guys want to take this part out. So this will give you guys the support when you guys do set the bed option, which is basically the same as the other sign. So let's take it out. You guys want to bring this back down. Now you guys do have a bed option. So if you guys lay down, let me show you guys what it actually looks like. All right, so this is what the product looks like when you guys do set up. So the way how to design this software actually fits like one person, but if you guys don't mind squeezing, you can definitely fit two if you guys want to. I believe like the weight limit on this product is like around like 600 pounds or around that range. But here is basically another way for us to use it. Another way for us to use it is like a lounge chair. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So for the lounge chair option, all you can do is just raise it up. And just push the bottom part in and just let it drop down. Once you guys do that, you have to raise this part up. And that way it becomes like a lounge chair option. So if you guys sit on here, now basically it just becomes like a lounge chair option, which is pretty cool. So those are some of the ways why you use it, but you can definitely play around with this product in terms of how you guys want to use it. But when you guys do lay on here, it actually feels pretty comfortable. But I definitely love the way how to design the product. It's so compact and so minimal. So that way you guys can fold everything back into the actual ottoman and that way you can save a lot of space. And when you guys do need the bed option, you can definitely open up like what you guys can see right here, which is pretty cool. 
If you can see the one that we got right here is like a dark gray color. They do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which we prefer. And you can put the pillow right here. And now you can use the bed option. Now just lay down in here and just fall asleep if you guys want to. It feels so comfortable. But obviously if you guys have your own pillow, you can definitely use your own pillow as well. But here is basically what the product looks like when you guys do fully set up. So this is what the product looks like when you guys do set up. Let me actually put it back inside and show you guys how to put it away. So the way how you guys put it away is actually very simple. You just want to raise this up. And you just want to raise this up. Do it slowly so that way you don't slam anything inside. You just want to push it back down. Use the Velcro to stick it back together. And you just want to bring this back inside as well. So push this up. And push back inside. Do it nice and slowly. And as we push it back inside, use the Velcro option to stick it back together. And then push it back down. Fix the side with the magnetic option. And it's all set. So very easy and very simple to assemble it. And I love the fact that how everything is all assembled when you guys first get it. So it doesn't require you guys to assemble anything when you guys first get it. And you can see how it actually doesn't waste a lot of space. So definitely just put it on the side right here. And when you guys do need it, you guys can definitely pull it out, which is pretty cool. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now the unboxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality sofa. That also works as a bed option that's super compact and portable. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously if it's those guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.